Hey people, Real Wolford here. Today, let's talk about Slash guitar solo on Sweet Child of Mine. I want to take a look at the solo more from a conceptual point of view rather than, you know, analyzing every note for note. Um, in fact, I'm not playing it really 100% note for note. I'm pretty, I'm pretty close to it, but what interests me because I'm a musician that creates music on its own. I have our own band, we make original music. Is how did Slash fucking come up with these genius melodic lines in this solo? I did this on other videos previously, so if you want, go ahead and check them out. I got a couple of Slash actually and some other. Okay, let's go. The first thing to note on Sweet Child of Mine on this solo, it's an E. It's actually an E flat because you know it's got the slash tuning, everything's tuned down a, uh, a half step. I'm just gonna, you know, pretend it's an E. It basically uses and blends, slash uses and blends two scales in this solo geniusly, I must say. Geniusly. I, I envy him for the melodic ideas that he has on this solo, on other solos. Um, it's the harmonic minor scale and it's the good old pentatonic scale. To, to play, to make the harmonic scale sound good, there's some requirements you need. And these requirements are actually fulfilled in the song. The chord changes that, that's happening right here, the E minor, one chord. The next change would be the sixth chord major. Now, and here comes an important change, the five chord major, four chord minor, back, and then it keeps re uh, repeating. These would be a, a, a chord changes. Now, why is the five chord so important? Well, because it has Now, if I was to play the E minor scale, just naturally, the natural E minor scale, this, this is what it would sound like. And I would have a D. But harmonic minor actually has the major seven, which is a D sharp. This one right here. So, and this, that, that interval, that tone, is for me what makes the harmonic sound, the harmonic minor sound. And that's the note that's actually, you know, it's given right here in that chord, in that B major chord. So if I want to play harmonic minor licks, you know, the requirements are met right here in these two notes. It's like, kind of like classical sounding changes. That's the first thing we should note when uh, when we listen to this solo. So the second scale um, Slash uses in here is the pentatonic scale. That's not a big surprise. Slash is a blues rock guitar player. That's at least how, you know, that's how I see him basically. He's a, of course, he's, he's, in a, he's in a hard rock band and all, but um, he's this, he's got this big blues factor in his playing. So let's start with the first phrase. It starts off right here with this beautiful release bend and that's for me like in a pentatonic box actually. Of course now you could argue, okay this is part of the harmonic scale as well. Yes, I know it could also be, you know, there's tons of ways you could see this. You could see this as being part of an arpeggio and then it's just bending from the 4 to the 5. Um, I kind of, I don't know why, but I see it from the pentatonic. And now going into the harmonic minor. Especially with the second phrase. Right now. Now it's harmonic minor. It has to be. Back to the now These bands right here, back to the pentatonic. These sound like blues. And... You know, blending right back in harmonic minor. Oh, sorry. That 
that phrase, that phrase is truly genius, I think. We have these wide interval jumps from... How did you come up with that? <laughs> For me, that's just genius. Um, now, there's this motive that's happening again and again. this very fateful sound because um, Slash is playing first of all um, with the semitone the D sharp to the root note E which is to say it has this fateful sound to it and then the minor 6 That run, you know, I could do a, do a video just on that harmonic run. It's an ascending harmonic minor run. Starts on. You know, start, it almost starts on a root note. It actually starts on a major seven, which is already given away that um, again that harmonic minor sound that character. This has something. Very Arabic, Spanish kind of song. It slips right back into that pentatonic. It's it's just so beautifully crafted, really. There's no pattern inside this ascending run. Like there's no, almost like there's no logic to it. Um, and, and I feel that makes it sound so, so free and cool. Every, every time there seems, when there seems to, you know, um, happen some kind of pa um, repeating pattern, like right here, uh, let me see. Oh. Broken up again. Yeah, it, it really is very rhythmically. It's just 16th notes, but the, there's no, as I said, there's no pattern inside this ascending run except that it's an ascending run in harmonic minor. It go, now goes into the second half of the solo. The chords kind of change. Important to note, um, in these chords, there's no more fifth chord. Very interesting, because in the second half now of that solo, Slash is not playing um, the harmonic minor as much anymore. I think he's hardly playing it. It's just mainly pentatonic now. now technically, this bend right here is not a, pen, uh, a pentatonic bend. Because it's bending to uh, um, this note right here. I think there's like a semi tone more to that, so it's bending to the minor third. You could argue, you know, that's not pentatonic anymore, but for me it is because it's inside, from my understanding, it's inside the pentatonic boxes, and he's just using, you know, that it's kind of like that Pink Floyd kind of bend. Signature lick that one right here. Like that, some kind, of, some kind of ascending pentatonic thing is happening. I can't re really remember. I don't know, something like that. And then it goes into, uh, you know, standard, standard pentatonic shredding kind of lick.
interestingly, it ends on the minor third. People, that's my little and uh, that's my little breakdown of the Slash solo. Hope you liked it. Leave some comments in the box below. And thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel and all that good stuff. And see you next time. Thanks for watching.